Hi, I'm Iakudas, and this is Let's Read Manga Dex Descriptions. Ishikawa feels that his relationship with Yamaguchi has entered a stale period. Why is Yamaguchi ignoring him, and how can he reignite the spark between them? Mune no Kodo, please feel my pulse. Yeah, that's boys' love, so nope. Zibai drowns his sorrows at a bar after his boyfriend of four years dumped him. He mistakenly flirts with a young president who turns out to be his ex-boyfriend's brother. From a misunderstanding begins a new romantic tale between a sweet dummy and a stoic boss. Accidental love. Also more boys' love. Okay, so that that seems to be what's happening with the random today. Chisumu's fa favorite hobby is feeding stray dogs and doing house chores. In a sudden incident of Klein Levin syndrome, he met the hot tempered yet sundare fox, Guzu. With his, with his kind disposition, Sumu suddenly became an emergency member of Whalefall and has to commit a vaccine robbery thanks to Guzu. A complete noob in combat, he was somewhat molded into a versatile agent under Guzu's training. After joining the organization, only then did Sumu know the shackles and missions of being a sentinel and guide. Sumu's in inclination and admiration towards Guzu when he first met him gradually turned into mutual feelings of attachment. A lone wolf can have Toriko's love. And it's also boys' love. More yaoi. Okay. Except they have to rob a vaccines for some reason? I don't know. That, that, that seems like it escalated quickly. In a world where people and shikis co normally coexist, a high school student named Kay, who is currently leaving with his aunt, is someone who hates shikis and has been hiding his shinky th in inside him throughout his life. However, he was caught up in a big trouble that caused his shinky to get out. Oni Futatsu. Uh. Okay, this, to me, this summary just sounds like shinky means penis. And this dude's been hiding his dick the whole, or, well, I don't even know if it's a dude. I feel like this is about a Futa girl who's just been hiding her dick, and then it, it gets out. And then, like, I don't know, she flashes someone or something. That, that's what it sounds like. And then the picture is a girl on the cover, but, I don't know. Oni Futa? Yeah, sure. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's all romance today, I guess. Handsome and popular, but he has a secret hobby, dancing. Tian kept, his, kept it a secret because he didn't want to be judged. Unfortunately, Tina found out about his hobby and suddenly asked Tian to become her boyfriend in exchange for keeping her, his secret. As you wish, my lady. Yeah, that doesn't work. You don't, you don't start a relationship based on blackmail. And even if you, like, fall in love or whatever, you still blackmail the dude. And you're not even blackmailing him for something, like, drastic. It's, oh, he, he likes to dance. That That's fucked up. That's just kind of fucked up. Nari is a typical first-year college student with one major hang-up, her height. She's often mistaken for an elementary student because of her stature. She has never had a boyfriend and thinks that her appearance is to blame. One day, her beloved smartphone turns into a handsome young man, and this preposterous event turns her life upside down. Will Galaxy become more human, or remain in his robot-like state, as Nari navigates her co college life with him by her side at all times, running into even more outlandish situations while keeping his identity under wraps? My smart boy. Oh, okay, I mean... Okay, compared to all the Yaoi, this isn't that, that bad. This is just... Oh... My item, like, turned into a thing. Or my, oh, hey, my phone turned into a boy. Now I can date him. Uh, I mean, and then you also got like, oh, I, I have like, what was that? I can, there you go, where it's like the soda cans turn into girls. It, I mean, this is a standard anime premise. I don't get, I mean, I, I, I don't know why she has to hide it, though. I mean, eh, whatever. I guess... And then, you know, it's like, oh, well, she's literally in love with her phone. <laughs> okay, anyway, this has been today's Let's Read Megadex. It was all romance, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Goodbye, everybody.